Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to our fourth edition of DCTV 23's weekly update on COVID-19. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. Rick, can you tell us the latest from the governor's office? Lena, I'm glad you asked. Uh, the latest that we have from Governor Kemp's office is that Georgia's shelter in place order expires today, April 30th at midnight, but not for everyone. As the governor stated, his order makes clear that the individuals who fall into certain categories, the medically fragile and elderly will be expected to continue to stay at home until at least May 13th. I wanna repeat that date again, May 13th, for the medically fragile and elderly to continue to stay at home, except for necessary travel and to receive essential services. That's the latest. Also, according to the state of Georgia's latest report, as of April 30th at 1130 a.m., Douglas County has 311 confirmed cases and sadly 11 of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of the chairman and board of commissioners, we would like to send our sincere condolences to those individuals and their families. State of Georgia has its new COVID-19 hotline that we want to reiterate. If you believe that you're experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 or have been exposed to the virus, please contact your primary care doctor, an urgent care clinic, or your locally federally qualified health care center. Please do not show up unannounced at an emergency room or health care facility. The number for the COVID-19 hotline is 1-844-422-2681. Again, 1-844-422-2681. 2681. As we continue to cover COVID-19, testing is the main topic of discussion for our community. And according to Cobb and Douglas Public Health, our testing site at Hunter Park is testing around 50 individuals per day and have tested close to 450 as of April 29th. Anyone showing symptoms can be tested. These symptoms include fever, cough, shortness of breath, or difficulty breathing, chills, repeated shaking with chills, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, and new loss of taste or smell. Visit cdphcovid19testing.org to complete the online testing referral. The individual will be screened, it will be determined if a test is needed, and then they will be scheduled for an appointment. The hours of operation for the Hunter Park testing site are Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday, 9 a.m. to noon. Please note, testing is by appointment only. Individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health will not be tested. Thank you, Lena. Also, while we're talking about testing, based on the information provided by the health department, the process of antibody testing is still in its pilot phase with the CDC, Public Health, Emory, and others. This is a question that a lot of people are asking online. There's not a timeline of completion as of right now, but as more information becomes available, we will provide to the public. Due to COVID-19 epidemic, recycling of glass, plastic, and mixed paper has been temporarily suspended at the Douglas County Landfill and Recycling Center. Douglas County citizens who are able to temporarily store recycles are encouraged to do so. Recycling operations will resume as soon as possible. For more information, please send emails to solidwaste at co.douglas.ga.us. One of the biggest weekly update information that I know a lot of people are interested in is what uh, was mentioned earlier this week. Uh, Douglas County Commission Chair, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, announced approval to open up walking trails here in Douglas County and the disc golf courses, partially opening up our parks and recreations. This is happening Friday, tomorrow, May 1st, 2020, at 12 noon, at 12 noon. These walking trails include Clinton Park, Derelict Park, Dog River Park, Fair Play, and Boundary Waters Park. Woodrow Wilson Park's walking track will also reopen. Disc golf courses at Dog River Park, Boundary Waters Park, and Derelict Park. All other parks and recreation facilities will remain closed to the public at this point. 
All users of the walking trails and disc golf courses are expected to practice social distancing at all times. Tonight at 6.30 p.m., be sure to join Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones and the members of the Douglas County State Legislative Delegation as they provide an update regarding COVID-19 via Facebook Live on Douglas County Happenings Facebook page. If you missed the live stream, you can watch it anytime on Douglas County Happenings Facebook page. <laughs> That's right, and uh, it's a privilege that I'll be hosting that uh, event this evening. As we already know, COVID-19 has impacted the lives of the people in Douglas County and the community, but it has also impacted our pets. With knowledge of this situation, Douglas County's animal shelter felt it was important to use their resources to assist pet families by organizing a pet food distribution drive at the Douglas County Animal Shelter, located off Mack Road. This drive through event was able to help 56 families by feeding 99 dogs and 100 cats. This assistance was possible due to the kindness and generosity of the Douglasville Kennel Club, who donated four pallets of food, Greater Good, who donated two pallets, and individual donations from citizens who requested to remain anonymous. Following the event, my co-host Rick Martin had a special one-on-one -on -one interview with Douglas County Animal Services Director Francis McMillan to discuss the event in detail. Watch this interview on DCTV 23's Facebook page. Thank you, Lena. Speaking of interviews, today I will be interviewing Douglas County Elections Director Milton Kidd to learn more about the changes in his department and what he's making for the upcoming election due to COVID-19. Please be on the lookout for this interview on our Douglas County Happenings Facebook page. And as always, as a reminder, Cobb and Douglas Public Health continues to encourage Douglas County citizens to practice social distancing. Wash hands consistently and stay home, especially when you are not feeling well. Remember, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. We can't stress that enough. Douglas County citizens, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com. Douglas County Happenings Facebook page and our DCTV23 Facebook page. Thank you for watching. See you next week.